<laughs> Hi guys, hope you guys are well. So today is a Tuesday. Um, I just came back from collecting my order from Uber Eats. I just wanted to show you guys what I bought and how much I paid for it because I didn't know Uber Eats has like a special on Tuesday where you can buy veggies from the Uber Eats market at half price. So these are the stuff that I got. Let me show you. I got a 2kg of onions, another 2kg of potatoes, a 1kg of avocados, and green peppers, 1kg of lemons, got a coleslaw mix, and then I got sweet corn, spring onions, some ginger, some red grapes, some pineapples, some cucumber, also got hard cheese. So this is available every Tuesday on the Uber Eats app. It's called Fresh Tuesday, whereby all the fruits and veggies from the Uber Eats market are sold at half price. As you can see, I got some of these items from as little as 7 rand, 8 rand, 9 rand, 10 rand, 15 rand. And I think the most that I paid was a 28 rand. And I felt like this was too good for me not to plug you guys. And also the portions. I wasn't expecting the portions to be that big, honestly. I thought they were going to come here and they were going to be smaller portions. All the veggies are going to be like smaller, smaller virgins. And surprisingly, they were big, they were fresh, and they were sweet. Like the grapes, the nachis the pineapples were very sweet and i was like there's no way you guys have to know about this for those of you who already know that's good <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another day of this vlog. So today is Wednesday and I just finished working. Actually, I'm lying. I knocked off at 1. So the time right now is like 2 o'clock, so I had to get ready. I'm just going to run a few errands. I need a bank card. So I'm going to stop at the bank to get a bank card because I don't have a bank card. And then secondly, I need some cosmetics. I'm probably going to go to Edgar's or Clicks. No, I'm going to go to Edgar's because... Clix doesn't have the ordinary product, so Edgar's is going to be a one-stop shop. So I'm going to be able to get the ordinary, and then I need Garnier serums, and then I'm looking for a perfume. I hope I find it at Edgar's. I'm hoping to find it. I think I'm going to find it. I don't know. We'll see. So, and then after that, I'm looking for an outfit. I will tell you guys what I need the outfit for later. So basically, we're just going to be lalazing at the mall. And then, yeah, that's where we're going to now. I will see you guys when we get there. Honestly speaking, Motao Motaro Upila. As Bobo, Sheba Ring, Banyaka, the number or a guy. Yeah, that's true. Some, Some they're just complimenting. Like, nah, I like complimenting. Yeah. Upila, like, yeah. Enter the roundabout <laughs> and take the same. Thank you. 
guys welcome back to another day of this vlog so today it's a sunday and i'm currently in brianston my partner has a hockey game so we just arrived here so usually they arrive an hour earlier so that they can practice and warm up so yeah i'm just gonna be sitting in the car so i last spoke to you guys during the week when i went shopping um i didn't even show you guys the stuff that i got anyway uh the green skirt that you saw i i got the skirt and then i got the pink dress as well and then there's a pink blouse that i got from h&m and then i also got a bodysuit that is almost the same color as the skirt but it's not exactly the same color but same vibe oh and then i got the shoes that i'm wearing now i will show you guys the shoes and then what else did i get got the blouse the bodysuit the skirt the dress these shoes oh and then i got a pair of sunglasses and i got a perfume i bought the the ariana grande cloud and it smells so good from there i just bought undergarments so those are the only things that i took it was the skirt the dress the bodysuit the shoes and then the pink blouse and then so the blouse is the same color as the dress and then the bodysuit is the same color as the skirt so i'm just gonna mix and match i haven't tried them to see what's gonna work out so i'm just gonna wing it and hope that i will find an outfit that makes sense um probably still gonna look for shoes and then yeah so the outfit that i need is for if you know tia smith then you know the sit and sip so there's gonna be a sit and sip on the 1st of September, she's going to be celebrating 50,000 subscribers. So that's where I'm going to be going. The theme is colorful, colorful, smart, casual. So the green and the pink is the vibe that I was going for. And then I will just see how I'm going to accessorize it. Hopefully it comes together, but we'll see. I'm very excited to go here and learn from knowledgeable women from different industries because there's going to be speakers there so just gonna go there enjoy the vibes celebrate with her grab and grasp whatever information will be provided and then yeah so that's what i needed the outfit for and if there's any of you guys that's going to be there i guess we'll meet each other there so since the game starts at 11 i brought these my nails look weird i don't even want to show you guys but yeah i'm just gonna do press on nails i brought the nails and the glue i'm gonna put on these once the match is done because i don't want to be sitting there on the bench with people wearing sportswear and then not getting more i've got bangles and stuff on so <laughs> i bought that and then these are the sunglasses that i bought from mr price let me tell you guys i don't wear sunglasses because i never find sunglasses that suit my face I have a very small face it might not look small but it's very small i have a very small face and a very small head and every time i buy sunglasses i look weird so i never wear sunglasses then when i got to my surprise i saw these <laughs> and i decided to get them i don't know why but i bought these and i was like i'm gonna wear them so yeah they don't suit my face but they look better than the other ones this is much better this this is something else so yeah anyway i got these and then and then yeah that's all i got so right now i'm just going to do my nails where is the glue so i got the glue and then okay so i'm just gonna put on these nails and then i will show you guys once i'm done
foi presenteado Esse pássaro na mão Seu assovio é tão lindo É o canto do perdão So I went to the cafeteria to get something to eat. So I bought a sausage roll and then I got some scrambled eggs with some sausages. I already ate a little bit. It's a mess. Anyway, so I got a sausage roll and then I got some scrambled eggs with sausages because they were cheap. They were like 14 rands. So when I was getting food, I bought water because I'm thirsty. And this is the water that I bought. 
I got sparkling water instead of still water and I do not drink sparkling water so it was a waste of money I could have taken it back but I knew that it was sparkling water because I opened it yeah that so I knew that it was sparkling water because of the ch when I opened it so I couldn't take it back because I had already twisted it. So yeah, I was thirsty and decided to get juice. I think I'm gonna spill out the sparkling water and then put still water from the dispenser in the kitchen. What a waste of money, but it's fine. And also one thing that I wanted to show you guys, in the morning when I was leaving the house, my Uber arrived at the same time as the Korea guy and this is a package for a campaign that we're going to be working on <laughs> so yeah do I have scissors in here? I don't think I have scissors I'll just open it with my fingers so this is the product that we're going to be working on it is the Lancome Renegy HPN 300 peptide cream it is a high performance anti-aging cream it's got hyaluronic acid it's got 300 peptides and it's got niacinamide in it so this is what they sent us to test out and then we're going to give a review so you know for the longest time i've always been wondering what is the perfect age to actually start using anti-aging products because i know a lot of people they start from even the age of 25 25 26 27 and other people start late like me i always believe that i was born in a family that has good genes to be honest because my older sisters are in the 40s and 50s and you cannot tell because even my mom my mom was in her 70s i think late 70s and my dad was in his 90s but you could never tell that's the thing so in my family we were fortunate enough to inherit some good genes but then also I always wanted to play it safe so i've always wondered what is the perfect age to actually start using anti-aging products and then when i turned 30 this year i was like oh no what if i'm not going to be fortunate enough to be one of those people you know i know i'm not the only person who's scared of getting old personally i'm one of the people that are scared of getting old so i'm excited to try this not that i have any wrinkles or anything at the moment I tend to have eye bags sometimes so i think i'm gonna use my eye bags as something that will determine the results because i don't have wrinkles as yet and also i never want to have wrinkles so yeah anyway so this is the product that we're going to be testing out so basically it's going to be my moisturizer for the next two three weeks so i have to stop using the moisturizer that i'm using now i have to use this as my moisturizer to actually see the true results so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing this is actually worth 2400 rand imagine you have wrinkles and it actually works for you so it means you have to add 2,400 Rand into your skincare and cosmetics budget every single month. <laughs> anyway, yes, you guys will also tell if it actually works for my skin or not. And I will also give a review. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's a good thing that I took off the bubble wrap because it was making it heavy for no reason. So now I can hold this in my laptop bag and this folders. I didn't show you guys the actual product. Okay, so it comes with a sample of youth activating concentrate. Okay, there's a youth activating concentrate. I don't know if I'm gonna put it inside the cream or this is just a sample. I think this is just a sample. I don't have to put this in the cream. So yeah, when you open the box, this is what it looks like. So these are the instructions to open the bottle. And this is the bottle. It's like silver and purple. And then
smells good. So this is the top thingy. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm just gonna continue working and then and then also I forgot to show you guys. So this is that blouse that I got from H&M. So I decided that I'm not gonna wear the blouse on Sunday. I'm gonna be wearing the green bodysuit and the green skirt. And then I'm just gonna accessorize with blue. So it's just gonna be green and blue. Maybe I might add some colors to it. But so far, I am leaning more towards the green and the blue. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be wearing on Sunday. And then I've got to show you guys, I've got these earrings from Edgar's. You know when you buy the whole thing for just one pair of earrings? That's what I did. I actually wanted these pink studs and then they came with these and a whole lot of other earrings. But then the initial ones that I wanted were these pink studs because they're cute. So, okay, my pinky pinky today. I'm wearing a pink shirt, pink earrings, black pants, black shoes, have my black handbag. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue working and then I will speak to you guys probably tomorrow because I'm knocking off at 4 today and I know I'm gonna be stuck in traffic because that's traffic time. I'm probably gonna get home half past 5 or 6 and then when I get home I just wanna take off this makeup and relax and rest. And also you know in the house the lighting is pretty dark especially at night so I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging anything tonight. So that's my outfit for the day. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna continue working and then I will see you guys later. So brother. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Tiamo Selezi, probably known as Tia Swim. And this is Blooming with the Besties. I'd like to welcome you into this new season. It's the 1st of September. It's a new month. It's a new season. And I look forward to a day of fun. But more than anything, a day of letting go. Letting go of the past. Letting go of yesterday. Letting go of whatever happened an hour ago. Whether it was the dress and outfit malfunction and the, the makeup that didn't turn out the way that you thought that it would. 
<laughs> or the bus that upset you on Friday. I want us to let it go, okay? I looked at the book of Isaiah 54 and it says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Yeah. So since all of you are here, I just want to say, Behold, God is doing a new thing in yeah. you. And before I want to, you know, before I open up with a prayer, I just want to remind you who you girls are. Yeah. I just want to let you know that it is not a mistake that God made you a woman. Amen. No error in production mm, yeah. that you came into this life in a form of a girl. Mm. No accidental blend of genes or chromosomes. Mm. God made you a woman of God. God provided you with a heart that is sensitive, a heart that is feminine. Yeah. So it is not a mistake at all that you are a woman. Amen? Amen. Your journey is not by chance, right? Every little moment there is something there to teach you for your next. So if you take that moment seriously, no matter how much you hate that job, you hate your boss, the fact that listen, your journey is not by chance. Where you are now, you're meant to learn something that you're going to use as you progress in your career, right? So first things first, intention. To the everyday and woman, right? The yeah, that yeah, about. and they're constantly shape shifting um, according to the beauty standards, according to the beauty trends. Um, they just released an article that I really would love everyone to also go and read the real state of beauty that is looking at beauty in this current environment. Where right? do you find the article? It's, it's online, you can read up on it, and there are really such crazy stats on there. I mean, one of the stats was speaking about how 63% of South African women actually struggle with low self-esteem you know um so it's like thinking about all of those things and they speak about the new threats to beauty things such as ai and we have to now start having those conversations and seeing how do we start to educate ourselves and educate the next generation about these threats right so that they can also grow up feeling empowered and feeling confident in their own skin right yeah, so they yeah. don't fall um and so often we we keep do you guys feel that what you guys don't know about those things? Apparently, they're gonna be like a retrograde something something where everything. Enjoying it. We talk in here. Mr. B or you too, Busana.
guys hope you guys are well so i just got home from the event i just changed my clothes and got into you guys already know so yeah what a beautiful event i had so much fun and it was just a beautiful day everything just went smoothly i have nothing to complain about so many gorgeous ladies so much valuable information was shared um very important tips and stuff regarding business career marriage um tax and all of that there was just so much to take home which was a good thing um it was such a beautiful event to be honest so i brought a goodie bag and i just wanted to show you guys what i got there's a glamour magazine there's a dove shower gel there's another dove shower gel and then there's a hydrating gentle foaming cleanser from Clarins. So Clarins was one of the sponsors. Dove was one of the sponsors. Amarula was one of the sponsors. And then I think Sanlam was one of the sponsors. Um, and then I forgot the other company. I forgot the other name of the company and then there was a station where there was a lady who was doing lashes she was doing they were doing lashes uh they also do skincare and stuff and eyebrows and all of that so i saw there's other people that went there to get their eyebrows done and their lashes done for free which was very nice and then there was just a lot of things happening and i just loved the fact that there was just so much that you could take home so basically the event was mainly about women empowerment and just how to navigate in life and i love the fact that they touched on so many important aspects and yeah it was very informative everything was just amazing and i really enjoyed myself so yeah i'm tired i'm just gonna take off my makeup and then do my skincare and go to bed so i basically just wanted to show you guys what i got in the goodie bag and just tell you guys how the day was because i never spoke to you guys today and then also close this vlog because it's gonna be too long and i'm gonna have space issues so i'm gonna close the vlog here i feel like this vlog is a bit different but i hope you guys enjoyed it and and these i wanted to show you guys these these are press on nails uh from clicks the smudge brand i love press on nails but my only issue is that sometimes the sizes are too big and my fingers are pretty small so these ones they fit perfectly they look like i did my nails but i didn't do my nails so from now on i'm only gonna buy press on nails from clicks because they just hand made it through the day and then this one i didn't have one here oh then this one came out so two came out this side this one and this one anyway it's been a long day but it was a very beautiful long day and i had fun and i enjoyed myself so right now i'm just gonna relax and prepare for tomorrow i think i'm working from 8 a.m tomorrow which is a good thing i don't have to wake up too early so yeah i'm just gonna relax wash up my makeup and go to bed so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for making it this far in the vlog um if you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe thank you so yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog yeah i will see you guys in my next vlog yeah this one looks better yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my